discovered inside the temple a head of Cleopatra. It's a beautiful head made of alabaster. Experts have been searching for Cleopatra's tomb for decades. Archaeologists continue searching for the mausoleum of the last queen of Egypt, and there are several theories about where she was buried. Egyptologists and archaeologists have scoured the land of Egypt, but have yet to find the tomb of Queen Cleopatra. In this video, we will explain where Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of the Egyptian dynasty, is said to have been buried. So if you have ever wondered who is Cleopatra, why is Cleopatra's tomb so elusive, and why are archaeologists so desperate to find it, sit back and enjoy. The Valley of Kings For thousands of years, many features of ancient Egypt remained a mystery. One of them is a secret tomb that a later dynasty pharaoh commissioned and built in the Valley of the Kings to preserve the bones of his ancestors. Let's quickly learn about these tombs. The Valley of the Kings, home to the royal tombs of several kings and queens, was not as heavily guarded during Egypt's decline in power. Therefore, the thieves made several raids on the tombs. The damaged and desecrated mummies of his 18th, 19th, and 20th century predecessors were reburied in a safe place by a post 21st dynasty king. He secretly built a tomb and reburied the remains of his ancestors. Thanks to this change, the ancient Egyptian embalmers had a rare chance to better understand and refine the mummification process. The 21st dynasty pharaoh begged them to restore the severely injured bodies of his forefathers. They could observe the level of mummification used by their predecessors when restoring the bodies. Additionally, they had the opportunity to witness what a mummy looked like after two centuries. The abbreviation KV, which stands for King's Valley, is written on the tombs. Ramses VII is the first label, and the list continues up to KV-65. However, if another tomb is found, this will change, which is very likely. The Valley of the Kings is also known as the Place of Truth, or the Great Necropolis of Millions of Years of Pharaoh, is still one of the most well-known archaeological sites in the world. This royal cemetery contains exquisitely ornamented tombs of Egyptian pharaohs who ruled between 1539 and 1075 BC. There are more than 60 graves which are very distinct from each other in this small region, but just a few are accessible to the general public. Treasure hunters, floods, and most recently mass tourism have significantly damaged the tombs. The reliefs and the pigments of the paintings on the wall have also been seriously harmed by carbon dioxide, friction, and humidity caused by the average 2.8 grams of perspiration left behind by each visitor. The tombs were kept secret for centuries until magnificent royal jewelry appeared on the Egyptian antiquities market in the late 1870s. People were confused and began to speculate such as, where did all this come from? Even exquisite papyrus worthy of kings and queens was on the market. Many believe that the contemporary grave robbers discovered a royal tomb in the Valley of the Kings. But the question remains, who discovered these tombs? Cleopatra, the last of a line of kings known as the Ptolemies, who governed ancient Egypt for around 300 years, was Cleopatra VII, also known simply as Cleopatra. Cleopatra controlled an empire that included the Middle East countries of Egypt, Cyprus, and a portion of modern-day Libya. After her father died in 51 BC, Cleopatra ascended the throne. She needed a male co-regent according to the ancient Egyptian tradition, so Cleopatra married her brother, Ptolemy XIII. She is a highly regarded leader who is said to have brought prosperity and peace to the nation. Ptolemy plotted to dispose his sister and make himself sole ruler when he was 13 years old in 49 BC. When Cleopatra was forced to leave the country and form her own army, Egypt ascended into civil war, with the two brothers holding opposing views. 
Ptolemy was deposed and Cleopatra was restored as queen with the help of Julius Caesar. Like most monarchs of her era, Cleopatra believed she was divine, and she and other family members were hailed as gods and goddesses from the moment they were born. Being extremely self-conscious, Cleopatra kept her allure with displays of grandeur, associating with the gods Isis and Aphrodite. As a result, she contributed significantly to the mythology that still surrounds her today. According to new contemporary Egyptian texts now available, she had high popularity among her own people. Greeks made up the majority of the ruling class in Alexandria, including Cleopatra, who was of descent of the general Ptolemy I Soter of Alexander the Great. They usually distinguished themselves from the predominantly Egyptian population by speaking Greek and adhering to Greek customs. Cleopatra, however, indeed took time to learn the Egyptian language, in contrast to her ancestors. She hired artists to create classic Egyptian-style images of herself for Egyptian viewers. Cleopatra is referred to as Philopatris, she who loves her homeland, in a papyrus from 35 BC. Cleopatra consolidated her power by claiming to be a legitimate Egyptian king. Cleopatra allowed a poisonous snake to bite her and her two handmaidens on August 10, 30 BC, when she realized she could lose her kingdom. Cleopatra's Tomb Scholars believe that Cleopatra was buried beneath Toposiris Magna, an ancient city of Alexandra, on the north coast of Egypt, after searching for her grave. Founded around 280 BC, this ancient city was once a center of commerce and industry and home to tens of thousands of people. According to the terms of Cleopatra's tomb, experts believe she was buried in the Temple of Osiris. No other tomb of a Ptolemaic ruler has ever been discovered. Apparently, all of them are in the area of Alexandria's palace and are believed to have been submerged along with the rest of the city. The tomb's architectural and material content alone has captured the attention of scholars for decades, revealing previously unknown details of Ptolemaic and royal worship, blend of Macedonian and Egyptian cultures. But if Cleopatra's remains were there, they could tell us even more, including her cause of death, her appearance, and even her race. The discovery of the tomb of Cleopatra, the legendary queen of ancient Egypt, came as a surprise to archaeologists. Experts say such a discovery would rewrite history and be a once-in-a-lifetime event. According to one archaeologist, she may have done it. Kathleen Martinez, an archaeologist at the University of Santo Domingo, has discovered a tunnel in northern Egypt that she believes leads to Cleopatra's final resting place. The 4,281-foot-long tube, buried 43 feet underground, was discovered after nearly two decades of searching. Excavations have revealed a huge religious center with three temples, a sacred lake, and more than 1,500 artifacts, busts, statues, gold coins, and a vast collection of coins depicting Alexander the Great, Queen Cleopatra, and the Ptolemies, Martinez told CNN. According to Plutarch, an ancient Greek historian who published a history of Cleopatra's husband, the Roman general Mark Antony, and responsible for the most complete account of Cleopatra's last days, Antony and Cleopatra were buried inside Cleopatra's tomb. While looking for Cleopatra's tomb, Kathleen Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and colleagues discovered a vast spectacular tunnel beneath a temple in the ancient city of Taposiris Magma, which is now a ruin on Egypt's coast. Martinez began searching for Cleopatra's tomb in Egypt around 20 years ago, certain that after more than a decade of relentless research, Taposiris Magma, the temple dedicated to the god of death, Osiris, is the leading contender for the queen's final resting place. Martinez finally scheduled a meeting with archaeologist and former head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, Zahi Hawass in Cairo, after several attempts and many ignored emails. 
Martinez revealed that the search for the old queen's tomb was almost over after visiting dozens of temples. Her investigative efforts eventually led to the surmise that Cleopatra's tomb lay beneath the old city, and she was eventually given permission by the Egyptian government to conduct a lengthy archaeological dig. It took two months to establish her hypotheses, a concise time. The discovery of the ancient tunnels was gold for the team. The tunnels, 43 feet deep and 4,300 feet long, were dug in the solid rock between Taposiris Magma and were hailed as geometric miracles. In fact, the tunnel resembles a 6th century Epalinos tunnel in Samos, a beautiful Greek island in the Aegean Sea. Although finding Cleopatra's final resting place was still the major goal of this archaeological expedition, other priceless artifacts were also found. Numerous coins featuring Alexander the Great and Cleopatra's likeness are among the hundreds of valuables that are said to have been discovered in the tunnels. Numerous clay jars, alabaster statues from the Ptolemaic era, a bust of the late queen, and other Greco-Roman artifacts were also found. While the ancient tomb of Cleopatra is yet to be discovered, there is so much hope like never before about its feasibility. While some questions still pop up in our minds, the excitement this discovery promises are really great. How long before the tomb of Cleopatra is eventually found? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your time.